Hallelujah. God bless you. This is Prophetic Intercession with a male. Always an honor to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. If this is the first time you've seen me, a special welcome to you. Thank you so much for stopping by. May the Lord use this channel to minister to you prophetically, to tell you the mind of God and help you know God for yourself. In the mighty name of Jesus, God bless you, family. Um, please become a part of our community by subscribing. And do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever there is a fresh word, you will not miss out. God says, someone you not love has not been okay. Someone you love has not been okay. And they are trying to summon the courage to call you and tell you that they are not fine. Something is wrong with them. Something is missing. They have not been okay for a long time. Something is just not right with them. And you are just that missing puzzle. But their pride has been standing on the way. They know that, uh, you know, they were, first of, they were first in denial. Like, no, it cannot be because of this person. I have moved past this person. I am now looking forward to better. There is more out there for me. And as time went on they realized that it was more about you than any other thing they could think of you were just that missing puzzle that made their lives complete and their pride has just been standing in the way they don't see themselves coming out right to you to tell you you were right i'm never going to find someone like you you were right you are irreplaceable in my life their pride is standing right there and they will summon the courage to tell you because it has gotten to a point where they can't deny it anymore they can't fake it anymore their peace depends on them reaching out to you and making peace with you whenever god gives me such a prophetic word i always like to give a disclaimer it is not everyone that comes back into your life that deserves to be there there are people who abused their time in your life and you have realized that you are even way better than them. Like you are way better alone than being with them. You have discovered peace, love, happiness without them. When they come back crying to you, you've got to consider all of that before you give them another opportunity to, to, to be in your life. You could even accept to have them back as friends and nothing more no emotional entanglement you keep them in that friendship zone for your own peace and safety people rarely change you know people just miss the you that was vulnerable to them people just miss the you that they could manipulate the you they could feel comfortable and always come home to but they rarely change to suit into that position. They rarely change to be the person that you really, really expect them to be or want them to be. God is saying, you have to guard your heart, guard your space. Be sure they are what you really want. The fact that they have come back to their senses and they are in regret, they are not fine, does not mean you open up yourself. Ask yourself, is this what I want? Is this what I want for my life? If your answer is yes, then go for it. But if you have question marks, then you better have a rethink. You better have a rethink. It's not time to rush into anything. It's not just time to fall back to where you are coming from. But it's time for you to think if that place made you happy or if there is anything in that place at all for you. If not, just move on and believe God for better. Hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. God bless you.